What's up, guys? Welcome into a week 11 edition of Film Room here with Daniel Jeremiah, as always, every week. And DJ, a second edition of Sunday Night Football, back to back weeks. <laughs> and listen, every time we see Justin Herbert and Patrick Mahomes on the field, you know it's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's not a surprise. This game got flexed into primetime because you've got two of the more uh, entertaining teams to watch and the two most exciting young quarterbacks in the National Football League. So uh, not a surprise that the entire nation wants to uh, cozy up on the couch and watch these two teams go at it. Yeah, Justin's been really good against the Chiefs. Uh, Let's rewind to last Sunday, though. That first half, despite not having his main weapons out there, he was pretty darn impressive. Yeah, and I think this is going to be the key to the game, and that's what I want to kind of show in this video is these two young quarterbacks and what they do on third downs because extending drives and being able to to cash in uh, once you do that is going to be the key to the ball game. So let's look at some third downs. I've got four plays uh, here. Let's start with Justin Herbert from last week and just finding a way to make things happen when you're down some key players. Let's start with this first one here. Uh, This is going to be, you see this orbit motion, that's going to just take a little bit of attention back to the left, and then everything seems to be going to the right. Watch the tight end's release here. Chris, you're going to see his outside release. That's going to pull Dre Greenlaw out a little bit as well. And when you see 57 Greenlaw pull out of there, here comes Austin Eckler in that vacated spot on a huge third down conversion early in this ballgame. Yeah, that was such a big play in that first half, DJ. What's next here? Yeah, let's get to the next one. And again, these are all third downs. This is going to be empty. And this is where you can see Justin Herbert feeling a little more comfortable, a little more confident. Um, you know, he had that that rib injury and you, he kind of was more of a stationary quarterback for a few weeks. Now you're seeing him extend some plays. Watch Gerald Everett here at the top, the tight end. He's going to chip release on Nick Bosa. And then he's going to be kind of the primary right here. It looks like it's open right now. But Herbert feels this corner on the outside driving on the tight end, Everett. So once he does, okay, I'm going to use my legs. That corner is now overcommitted. Everett adjusts. You're able to get the ball right over the top of his head for a big completion. Yeah, and like you said, DJ, these are all third downs with guys who aren't accustomed to being in the starting lineup. Gerald Everett is, obviously, but you know when you talk about DeAndre Carter and uh, guys like Joshua Palmer, it's a different crew. Yeah, no doubt. You got to make it work. And uh, this is a nice job in terms of the scheme here by Coach Lombardi. You're going to see kind of a a double pick and a wheel here. Keep your eye on the bottom three. You're going to see two outside come inside, almost kind of make make this make this slot defender have to navigate a lot of traffic against Josh Palmer. See the two coming inside. Okay, it's almost like an elevator, uh, you know, screen in basketball. You got to get through both those guys. He has to weave underneath it. You've got Hafunga, the safety, and is the middle field player. He's going to get over the top here. This has to be a perfect throw from Herbert with just the right trajectory. He hangs this up. It's going to get right in the safety's path, but he's able to drive this ball right over the shoulder. A beautiful throw and a little pick wheel route. Yeah, this was one of the more pretty throws on the day. I think you have one more here. Yeah, let's get to the last one here. And this is, again, I I think there's a difference in Justin's game since the bye. You know, having that rib cartilage injury, he was a little reluctant to use his legs and run. Now you're seeing that aspect of his game. And here's a, a, again, right before the half, this was the hit uh, that ended up resulting in an ejection. But this is the athleticism of Herbert. You've got nothing there on a third down. Look at all this space, climb up in the pocket. Now go get it. You see where the sticks are. He ends up taking that big hit. You tack on 15 yards, but that's going to be big in this game against the Chiefs. If you don't have all your weapons, Justin Herbert's legs almost serve as an extra player for this offense. Yeah, DJ, he was the second leading rusher in the game. Austin only had 24 yards, and you know I, I think that's encouraging, right? Because I don't know if we saw Justin do that three or four weeks ago. It's maybe an indication he's getting a little healthier. I think you hit the nail on the head right there, and I think once you get him full speed, then you start forecasting into the future as all these players start coming back, and now Herbert's feeling good. He's moving around, extending plays. This offensive line starting to settle in a little bit. Uh, and overcoming some injuries, now you could really have something working. All right, DJ, let's flip it to Kansas City. They are the second-best third-down offense in football, and Patrick Mahomes making jaw-dropping plays week in and week out. Yeah, he's a nightmare, uh, especially on third downs, and this is going to be a key here for the Chargers in this game is figuring out a way to slow him down. This first one here, this is going to be a third and eight, and I want you to keep an eye with the flow here. You've got three up to the top. You're going to see all three of these guys coming across, working left to right. It's a levels concept. You can see the three levels right there working the field. 
Mahomes wants to let this ball go right here, but he doesn't feel good about what he has. So what he does have as a, as a result is the ability to escape the back door here and take off with his legs because there's nobody there. You're, you're, when you all three, your targets are coming across the field. It's completely vacated that side. So everybody goes right. Next thing you know, he's out the back door going left. And on a third and eight, he picks up a huge chunk on the ground with his legs. Man, nothing but green grass there. All right, what's next? All right, this next one here, uh, again, let's just watch where he is in the pocket. You've got to try and keep him hemmed in if you can, because on this third down here, another third and eight, watch his ability, just kind of buy time. He's going to feel the pocket start to get a little pressure inside. You lose contain again, and once he gets outside, now you've got to worry about him as a runner because right now, if you're this corner on the bottom of the screen, you got to you got to hedge your bet because you've already seen him take off and go. So you kind of level off and flatten, thinking he could be a runner, and then this ball sails right over your head into that pocket along the sideline again. Another big play that one to Juju Smith Schuster. Yeah, and I'm seeing guys like Juju Smith Schuster, DJ. Uh, now that you've seen this Kansas City offense for nine games. Uh, what's the biggest difference in, in what they did with Tyree Kill versus what they're doing now? Yeah, the ball's just getting spread around. Um, it's just been a, a thing where I think with with Mahomes and him just getting better and evolving as a quarterback, he's not getting locked on. Even though you have Kelsey, who's a premier target, um, he's just going where the offense takes him and where the read takes him. And sometimes that ends up just being his legs, uh, which, again, it's just a nightmare to deal with, particularly on these third downs. All right, what do we have here? All right, let's get to this next one here. Um, this is going to be an example of how you have to cover the second route. What I mean by that is the scramble. Again, using his legs. You've done a nice job on this first route here. Everything's kind of underneath. Maybe as a shot underneath to let this ball go, but you're in pretty good sp spot if you're the Jags. Unfortunately, you've got to pick up the second route because now you look where everybody is and it's a complete scramble drill. Mahomes is going to buy time. Everything's covered up. You've got to stay plastered. They don't. You see him wheel all the way back around the backside, and then you've got to defend the pass for about six or seven seconds. So that's a, that's a major challenge for your defense. And how difficult is that going to be on the Chargers linebackers, DJ? Yeah, you got to stay plastered. You can't operate with a shot clock. You know, that's one of the challenges when you're playing against these guys. And, you know, we've seen the three scrambles. We've seen him use his legs. And then there's going to be times where he's just going to line up in, in, from the pocket and try and take his shots. This is, again, a third and seven. This is a third and long. I want you to watch the safety up here at the top. You can't get caught leveling up here, Chris. See him get a little bit flat right mm -hmm. here. Settles his feet. Once you settle your feet, you've got to stay deeper than the deepest to try and limit these explosive plays. This ball is up. He reads that safety that's flat-footed. Next thing you know, you get a vertical from the slot. It's a little bit underthrown, but it's still a huge play down the field. Again, watch the slot. You see the vertical. Safety settles, ball's gone. So it, it's a challenge. You're going to have your eyes in the backfield because you're worried about Mahomes and what he can do and extending and scrambling, but you can't get caught settling. If you get caught settling, the ball's going to settle over your head in a hurry. And that's the thing, too. There's no comp to Patrick Mahomes. You can play all these guys. I guess Josh Allen, one of the best in football. Chargers don't play the Bills. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is just a different breed. Yeah, it's a big challenge, you know, but this is a Chargers defense. You know, if they, they've they been able to slow this offense down in some of their previous meetings, got to find a way to take the football away, and you got to get off the field on third down. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.